One consumer trend you need to pay attention to is the plant-based one. Let's talk about it. Hey there, njroot22.com here with another uh, supermarket, low-carb consumer vlog. Um, and today we're talking about the plant-based thing. We've talked about plant-based burgers and how they're just really not good for you. And they're, they're artificial flavors, MSG, and all this other stuff. But what we're concerned more about is the hardcore push uh, to try and make these things uh, acceptable and mainstream. <clears throat> we think it's an organized campaign against humanity, honestly, but uh, you know, take a look at some of these uh, flyers. They have their own logo now. It looks, uh, oh, it looks so innocent with a little leaf on it, plant-based. Um, and it's, um, it looks sort of like, I mean, I guess it's round. It's sort of like the organic logo that you see everywhere. And watch, watch as, just start paying attention and see how as this year goes by and next year, you're going to start seeing that little plant-based logo everywhere. And by the way, plant-based is just a feel-good phrase because a plant doesn't have an opinion. It doesn't have any kind of like political viewpoints. Uh, you can't attack a plant. I can attack a plant very easily, but uh, it's just a feel-good phrase. And um, <clears throat> just think about it. your shoes are plant-based. Your shirt is plant-based. Cows are plant-based. Isn't that funny? Isn't that hurt? It hurts people to say, oh, cows are plant-based, but they've ca carefully crafted this phrase that's, uh, it's hard to criticize, and if you do, you get uh, attacked and so on, but it's not healthy for you. Um, it's definitely not healthy, those fake burgers, but we've seen this, uh, you know, it's in all the flyers now, that's, that's for sure, and I wouldn't be surprised if entire aisles soon enough will be plant-based. And uh, we've already started seeing signs at some places like Wegmans, they have plant-based, plant-based. They're, they're it's slowly creeping in like an infiltrator into a society. Um, and lastly, of course, well, next to last here, the plant burgers, Beyond Burgers, going all out trying to capitalize on this, uh, which, which we hope to be a short-term um, trend, uh, but like, you know, A&W Root Beer, McDonald's, uh, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Subway, they all have plant-based uh, Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger type things, and com all the commercial chains are starting to have them. Um, I think there's some serious collusion here, and I'm sure everybody thinks that, I mean, on, on the surface that they can, they're trying to tap into a, a growing, rapidly expanding market, but... I think there's something sinister on the other side. They did, they're did. they really trying to put a hurting on uh, the carnivore people and the meat industry in general. And lastly here, I don't know, if go on YouTube and look up all, all these psychos that are, are plant-based this, plant-based vegan, uh, whole foods, they're all, they're like weirdos that they, they get all, like they're like fanboys or groupies. Um, and look at some of these people, like this picture I have here, some girl or lady, she looks emaciated and unhealthy. I wouldn't pick her for like a badminton team, let alone anything that requires strength and endurance. Um, these people that are on their low carb, I mean, I'm sorry, low, um, low fat and high uh, protein, what is it called, a vegan. They are poster children for being not vegan. Anyway, that's it. If you like the video and what we're talking about here, please hit the subscribe and the like, and I'll see you next video.